2002 on an O2 Volkswagen Lupo. One litre this one, one, one litre petrol engine, manual gearbox, load on a lovely set of alloy wheels. It does come with the original wheels. We have got them here and it comes with the original uh, tool kit with a spare wheel holder on there. So there they are with the car. You can see it's got lovely little wheels on it, this one. Right, it has been resprayed at some point in Golf R Blue with the uh, gloss black roof. Body weight wise, we'll start off the bonnet, work our way around the car onto the interior, go for an engine start up. But the bonnet itself's got a few rotted bird poo marks on the bonnet itself. You can see that there, and a few tree sat marks. Must be part under a tree at some point. Once a good polish to square those away, a little bit flat on the left hand side of the bonnet. But no major dings or dents apart from those uh, bird poo and tree sap marks. Headlights are lovely, clear on both sides. Grills all nice and tidy. Down the left hand side corner, a little bit of a crack on the bumper corner, but no big scuffs or scrapes. A few little stone chips across there. Gloss black lower half grill as well. And again on the left hand, uh, right hand side, no big scuffs or scrapes on the left hand side. Probably wants a new clip on that panel there, it's just sort of popping out on the corner. But no big scuffs or scrapes. Lovely and tidy down the driver's wing. I've got no rust coming through there. Like I say, these lovely, lovely alloy wheels all the way around, just finishing off this loop nicely. A little bit flat across the top here, once the polish in places and a good clean, you can see a sort of satin glass, satin black roof there. Again, all nice and tidy, but a little bit flat in the paint on the side of things. The door itself, a few little stone chips here and there, but no major dings or dents or big gouges. No heavy scratching around the handle. All nice and tidy across there. You've got your gloss black wing mirrors as well. So we're on our way down onto the rear quarter, right hand side. All okay up the arch there. Again, a little bit flat in places. Just want a good clean and polish, but all in all, nice and presentable. Loving these wheels, I really am. No heavy scratching around the fuel filler cap. A few little bits and pieces in the paint itself. Back bumper on the right-hand side. No scuffs on that. But again, a little bit flat. Which wants a polish up there. And there is your imperfection in the paint itself. A little bit of a mark on the left-hand side, but not a big scuff or scrape. But there's a few little bits of dust in the paint itself. You'll see the boot lid's been de-wiped and de-barged. All those bits and pieces. Light lens is nice and clean on the rear. Say D Whitewood on the back window there. As we come down the left hand side rear quarter, again, nice and tidy around the arch, tiny little mark on the arch there, but a few more imperfections in the paint there on the left hand side rear quarter. A little bit of a dense scratch there, and again, a little bit flat with a few bird poo marks here and there. Another nice alloy wheel matched all the way around there on the rear left. Down the door, nice and straight down the door again, does want to polish a few heavier scratches at the back of the handle there, but it does want a good polish and a good clean in places, just to sort of bring that shine back. It's obviously been parked underneath a tree at some point. No rust on that front wing, wing on the left-hand side, a few little stone chips, but nothing really to complain about there. Ideal little run around this, ideal little first car as well. Surely the wheels will be worth a few pounds, that's for sure. Onto the door card there, nice and tidy on the door card, a little bit of wear to the driver's handle. But no rips or tears, all nice and presentable. The seat itself, the bolster, no rips or tears to the bolster, nice and tidy. Got a few stains on that lower half swap, so a good steam clean would uh, square those away. But again, no nasty rips or tears, cigarette burns, anything like that. Nice and tidy across the dashboard with no cracking, all nice and straight. The dials are lovely and clear. Nice standard wheel, standard heading as well, which is lovely to see. Down the centre console, all nice and standard and clean and tidy on the plastics. No heavy scratching around the cup holder or anything like that. We'll jump onto the boot now. You'll see we haven't got the rear seat. It's been, uh, they've been deleted as it was. No rear seats in this one, but we have got the spare wheels uh, and the, the jack and things like that. But no rear seat or bench in there. Onto the left hand side front, again, door card. Nice and tidy across the front. A little bit of wear to the plastic handle and the uh, door opener there, which is pretty standard on these VWs. The seat itself, again, no rips or tears to the bolster. Minimal wear, no nasty marks on this one or deep stains, anything like that. All lovely and clean and tidy on the left-hand side. The seats do fall forward, as you can see, the new rear seats there. Let's quickly jump into the engine compartment now. 
have a look at that little one litre petrol, five speed manual as well. You can see that is the original colour, that's sort of powder blue, but it has been resprayed, being told Golf R Blue. I'm going to fire it up here for you. I've uh, no problems at all with that. Tick over nice and happy. Nice and smooth on the tick over. There you have it. A little VW Lupo, one litre, has been lowered, and a lovely little set of wheels there.